yep, another day. Well, my first experience with culture shock probably came when I relieved myself on an electric fence. Yeah, back in the day, it was all about the fickle finger of fate striking again and again the 12 steps of nannyism or public school. Yeah, this morning my old noggin got broken. I turned on the news. That was the first mistake. Heard about an encampment under a bridge on the border. Oh, heck. And then I heard about a guy and nine children being exterminated. Oh, light dawns on Marblehead. Brings me back to the days of Vietnam. Yeah, back in the days, they weren't the good old days, they weren't the bad old days, it's the same old story, same old thing, it happens over and over again, high school, those so-called glory days, where we were pupils, or you might as well say chattel or cattle, had rings through our noses, bells on our toes, encouraged to subscribe to either Time or Newsweek, in other words, you're going to be a Democrat or you're going to be a Republican. Figure it out early. We don't want no in-between. We don't want no stinking liberals. We want centrists along the way. We don't want no stinking communists. Remember McCarthyism? Anyway, getting back to a viewpoint of those magazines. We all be in this huge study hall and everybody's got their magazines and playing games and tricks and talking behind them and chewing the gum and sticking it under the seats, but, well, anyway, don't get me wrong, there were plenty of fights in high school, but they weren't over politics, no siree, you had the hoods and the rah-rahs, you had those that were into sports and those that were running the streets, chains and knives, but no guns, now we got no bullying, but it seems like we got a lot of hate on both sides. Cause if you ain't woke and you ain't PC, go figure, I don't know. School, what is it good for? Brainwashing, I suppose. 